Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a CAPTCHA to WordPress website in 2024. So today we are going to explore how to enhance the security of your website by adding a CAPTCHA, which is completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. This is the full form of CAPTCHA. Of course, how to add it to your WordPress form. So stick around as I guide you through this steps step-by-step -step guide to add the CAPTCHA. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section, type wordpress.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen and main screen of WordPress. And of course, if it's your first time, you'll find yourself on a page like this. So click at the top right corner to log in into your account, login option, or on get started in here to create an account, or even on get started here on the middle to create an account for your own. You can even, as an example, scroll down to read more information about this website. If you don't know nothing about it, you'll be able to even to see the pricing, as you can see, with the features that comes with it, monthly, if you want to pay a monthly or annually. And you can pause the video and read the features all by your own and other information that you may want to know. So other than that, let me just open the local host for me. And of course, other than that, you'll be able to, or once you're logged into your account, you'll find yourself on something like that. So first of all, we'll have to go and install and activate the CAPTCHA plugin. Of course, to do so, go to this list panel and simply just go and click on plugins right here. But as you can see, if you have the free plan, you'll not be able to download the plugin. So make sure to go and upgrade into creator plan, which you will have to pay $9 monthly. So of course, once you pay it and you have the plan, you can simply now go to this list panel and hover plugins and click on add a new plugin. So the first step, of course, is to choose a CAPTCHA plugin for your WordPress. There are several options, but for this tutorial example, we will use the reCAPTCHA by Google plugin. You can navigate into plugins, click on add a new plugin, and here, just uh, in the search buttons, simply type for reCAPTCHA by Google and install it, then activate it. So reCAPTCHA by Google. And let's see. So let's just wait for them until they search for it. And as you can see, we have this plugin, which is Advanced Google reCAPTCHA. As you can see, it has more than 1,000 active installations with a five stars average rating. Of course, as an example, if you don't want to use this one, you can sim simply just type here CAPTCHA and see uh, the plugins that will uh, show you in here. You can see and look for whatever suits you and go and sell it. So for me, as I said, I will use this one, which is a reCAPTCHA by Google. And as you can see, you can flush full even, click on it and see the description. Works for an example. And the installation process, frequently asked questions, change log, what they change in the recent updates, screenshots of how it's looked like as an example. Like I'm not a robot, I'm not a robot. This is gonna be registration form, login form, and recess password form, how it's gonna look on every form. They are just showing you here. And finally, there is other people that you can read all, as you can see. So once you want just uh, to install it, just click on install now. And once it's installed, of course, you'll have to have uh, you'll have to click on the activate. And as you can see, it's compatible with your uh, version for WordPress. So simply go and click on activate. Of course, if you have a PHP version or uh, like problem like that one on there, you'll have to go and the fix the PHP version for the specific CAPTCHA bots, make sure that that will not uh, do something to any other plugin that you may be using. So just keep that in mind. And I've already made a video on how to do it so you can go and check it out by your own. So here's an example, just type re-CAPTCHA or just like recap. And as you can see, you will find it right here. So just go here and click on settings, as simple as that. And as you can see, grab the limited pro and you can launch discount so you can get one of their three plans, personal license, team license, and agency license. For this one, they will give you one site license, all plugins features, seven type of CAPTCHA. And for like this one, we'll give you five size license. So just pause the video and read all the features that comes with it by your own. 
This is of course if you want to get like the pro plans. Of course here you, on the settings you'll be able to make any uh, changes that you want. So just do whatever changes that you want of course. Of course as you can see some of them will have the pro. So you will not be able to get it unless you have the pro. So the captcha disabled as you can see no additional security will be something like that. The built-in math CAPTCHA, medium security, no API keys, no third-party services, and compatible with GDPR. As you can see, so are you a human? Please solve. Will be something like that. This built-in icon CAPTCHA, this will require a pro. This Google reCAPTCHA v2, you can use it now if you want to, as you can see, free. So high security, requires API keys, and powered by Google, no GDPR compatible. And we have the v3. Instead of V2, we have the V3, like it will show right here. We have the H CAPTCHA, which is the human CAPTCHA. And finally, as you can see, the human CAPTCHA will require Pro. And finally, we have the Cloud Flare Turn Style. So choose whatever you choose. For example, I'll just choose this. So once you do so, you'll have to go and enter the CAPTCHA site key in here and the CAPTCHA secret key in here. Then of course you can simply go and do your login protection if, uh, protection if you have like an, an account with a plan if you want to get the pro things, the firewall country blocking as example, and design if you want to edit the design of it as an example, just choose this maybe, and even the temp access. So yeah, once you finish everything, just make sure to change the changes. If you edit the appearance and everything. Now you can go as an example to all the, to your page and start adding this captcha to whatever uh, thing thing you're using. As an example, you can simply go and add a block and make sure to add your captcha block. Let's check if it's in there. So it's not. I don't know why. Maybe because of me, I didn't log in into an account. But it's, of course, no problem. Uh, there's even other plans that comes with forms. So, for example, I have a plugin that gives me forms, which is this WP forms. And this WP forms, as an example, will have or will give you the option to even add the captcha to that form if you want to. So let me just go back, leave, and go again to plugins. So, of course, here as an example, yeah, probably that, as you can see, because it's disabled, so you'll have to enable it. As an example, you'll have to enable it and use the V3. And you'll have, of course, to enter the site key and security key to start using it. For me, I didn't do that. That's why it didn't show on my pages. So make sure to add those in the V2, V3, whatever you want. Of course, this red ones, you cannot use them unless you have the free, uh, the, sorry, the premium plan. As you can see, if I use just this math one, I'll click on save changes. That those that do not require... In a key, if I go now to pages, I'll surely find it once it's enabled, of course. Once I choose this and click on verify CAPTCHA, as you can see, simply hits 9, submit, and verified. Now you can save the changes. And you'll find it, as you can see, enabled. Now if you go here to pages, click on add a new page, you will find it right there if you add a form or whatever you want. So just go and add your CAPTCHA now and you will be you'll be able to add this with no problem so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video